Welcome again to another one of my pinning sessions. I'm going to warn you now, right off the bat, this is going to be an exceedingly long painting session. Uh, for one reason and one reason only, I am using circle stencils this time. And that means I'm going to have to wait for them to dry. And I have. Yeah, I think that's seven. I've got to count again. Yep, I was the first time. Seven. Seven of these things. That means I have to wait for seven of these things. I don't know how long. This might be the first video that I actually have to cut down. That's how long this is going to be. It is a really, really long. I could always tell. Um, so much so that I haven't even gotten the paints out because I'll just be using my time there. Or oh, let's just say this one's drying. To just shake up some more cans for the next one. You could use this for background noise because um, I'll be talking about a few things and because I have like maybe a few topics, I guess, um, about other stuff besides painting. If you want to listen to that, then so just keep doing. If you don't, then just skip ahead each time. Each time I gotta, um, you know, wait. So, just a quick synopsis. I'll have plenty of time to say it. But really quick, once I could do more detail later on, it's going to be an aligning planet. It's just align planets. That's what it's gonna be. Nothing too bad. And because there's about seven, I'm gonna do um, I left, like all of the colors of the rainbow of escalation, so, you know, more of a sense of escalation there. Uh, so, of course, first will be dark red, crimson, I'm going to use dark red, uh, normal red, and orange for a, a tiny little bit. I don't have hollow stencils. So the only tactic is place one down, I will wait, place one down. So let's say I got the pattern for this. I place this down right here. I, you know, I weight it and all that, it's all good. I uh, probably need a bit more weight, but yeah, that's fine. And then I spray here, do the same thing. But just make some room. And then proceed. Just keep doing that over and over again until it is it's done. And it'll be a very long time until I could say that. So let's check these out.
Okay, now for the waiting game. I have some stuff to do in preparation. They put tape over these casts or templates, circles, whatever you want to call them. This tape, I can wash it. Maybe with these gloves, I guess. Okay. Let's try now. And I can't even peel it. Okay, there we go. Right over that hole there. And pinch it down. So it just stands up on its own. Then you can lift it back up like this. Perfect. There you go. I'm going to rinse and repeat for all of these. I do plan to do other stuff with these circles, like doing a different planet technique where it is incredibly faded into the background. Basically, there's more dark colors, well, more shade than tint. That's an obscene amount of shade. But enough tint where you know it's there and you know make it a circle so it looks like a planet these gloves are just sticking all over the thing one. Then I could be done with all this tape. down my mask and have some water. And more about the painting. It's not just going to be that style. Um, uh, like the detail, texture, if you want to call it, of the planet I'm going to use. I'm going to use multiple. Um, but the main will be that sort of um, that sort of planet structure, planet texture. I plan to do a lot of like color in the background, just signifying you know, what color is in which region, not just in you know, a black. Uh, I'm not gonna add like any like special galaxies in the background. Maybe a few big stars from this area right here, if you can see it, like left foot is right here. Uh, I plan to use that for some small little stars. 
not going to add any rays to them. It'll bring away from what's the, what the main subject matter is, which is the aligning planets. Uh, next one will be just orange, yellow, neon yellow. After that will be like light greens, maybe a little bit dark green, but only a little bit. I don't want to get like you know, excessively dark or really blend in with the yellow. Um, maybe I might add a more dark green to the front. I don't know. So this is like the game plan for now. So red, orange, yellows, green. Uh, yeah, like maybe like dark, and like light green. I don't know if I should do light green after this or dark green here, followed by dark blue, light blue, and then light light purple to dark purple. Might just do that. Um, just so it fades in a bit better. Um, you can barely see there's any orange in here, which is good. Just to test, I'm gonna place this on here. Bit of something. Uh, I'll just take was like a fan I had. There we go. So this is gonna a lot of wind dust. I'll use this to fan it a bit. Hopefully, like speed the process, but I wouldn't know. A bit more, and we should be good. I don't plan to add a lot of pressure because I know the more pressure you add, the worse it will get in terms of sticking. Okay, let's like place this down and then hold firm and then try to lift up to see what happens. It's sticking already. Okay. Yeah, it's not ready in the slightest. I could just do that later if it's fine. Okay, like up front will be fine because the blacks will be covered up. Let's say this, like this is the larger one. It would be here because it's covered up here. It will only take up a very small space, so there's not much to worry about in that regard. I'm gonna place it here so it stays flat and. This is lifting up, so this needs. So one of my strategies to keep it from folding down to see what lifts up. And if it lifts up a lot, I'm gonna need a lot of weight. If it lifts up just a little, a little bit of weight. See, this isn't lifting up, nor is this, because there's not a lot of movement when I press down. So I know I don't have to add a lot of weight there.
sure about that. My pop is just getting some stuff from the, fr or the freezer right next to me. Okay. Um. I haven't used this black spray paint long, but it's already almost out, which ain't a good sign. I don't think I used it that much. This white is also about to go, just because the nozzle is bad. After the light green planet, I'm gonna have to go get some new newspaper, then I'll be right back. But for now, I'm stuck here trying to find this out. I mean, I have a pretty good strategy of what to do. Um, about if it does like, spit over, I guess, or no, mm, uh, uh, if it peels, yeah, if it peels over. I have a pretty good idea on what to do if that happens. Okay. I'm not going to use dark green just yet. Well, we're gonna have to do that again.
Okay, I'm going to be right back with a new newspaper. back fresh new brand newspaper I also wanted to get a new nozzle for the white spray can. Okay, that'll help a little bit. Even for now. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna stick. But maybe this could also just be a precautionary tale of what happens to try to do something stupid like what I'm about to do exactly what I'm about to do something stupid okay mm. I do a little bit of blue here okay, just a little nothing more nothing less a little.
Okay, waiting time. Uh, so I want to talk about some of the other topics <clears throat> I was talking about. Uh, in my free time, uh, other than this, I um, just do just I exercise. Usually I go biking in the morning. Um, I mean I do workouts and then like the afternoon and like that. So that's usually what I do in terms of workouts. I lift some weights uh, throughout the day. And that's pretty much it. I got a punching bag. I use that sometimes. But uh, other times I just play video games. Uh, like Monster Hunter. That's one of the big games that I'm a fan of. Monster, uh, I'm playing Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate at, uh, at just now. A pretty, really good game. Um, I'm gonna only get it on a Switch, unfortunately, but it, it's a really good game. It's basically all of what Monster Hunter's classic games were uh, and compiled them together in a very dense game, if you will. I'm a little excited for Sunbreak coming out. Um, because I think it's I don't know what day it is, but it's like only a few days away. I think it's five days, four days, I don't know. Just only a few days away, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I There's some leaks, but I'm not gonna say um, what the leaks contained, but it's about the monster count, uh, not what particular monsters that we don't know. Um, so it, it's a bit underwhelming. So I don't know. Uh, usually I pre-order these things, but this time I, I'm not. I'm not going to pre-order it. I'm just going to see what monsters are available, and then go in because the pre-order it, it's not. It doesn't really add anything. I mean, I guess it has a um a realist like hyper realistic cats and dogs, but that's it. I don't really care for that because usually they're always covered up in armor anyway, and they look quarter doing it. Um, big fan of Monster Hunter World, though. Got the Platinum for the base game on my PlayStation. Um, that was an awful, awful decision. It is... Don't, don't try it. You, you will waste your time. I have played about maybe... In total, more than a thousand hours on that game alone, uh, on all on all fronts, all, all the consoles, my computer, like even like the small time I've used on my computer. Um, I mean, I basically have Monster Hunter World on all the platforms. Um, so I big big fan of the game. Never spent money on add-ons, of course. That's a stupid decision. A decision people who are big fan, fans of Diablo, that Diablo series, um, they're facing right now. That new Diablo Immortal game, it, it's a scam, that's what it is. Um, I mean, talking about scams, art, art's a scam, I'm doing art right now, which is pretty kind of productive, but there's also other types of art out there, um, some better than others. There are definitely better types of art than what I do. Um, not to um, uh, throw insult at this type of art that me and so many other people before me do, but it, there's other types that are that require much more skill. Um, but you know, it, it doesn't. Doesn't pair to comparison of just slapping some paint on a wall and then throwing that to a hundred thousand dollars. Awful, awful waste of your money if you buy that. You know, some people that, that oh, so you do um, abstract art, and I say, no, no, this is not abstract art. I guess technically it is, but it, come on now. Abstract art is the stuff that millionaires buy, that 
there is no skill involved. You have to think for days just to think of what could it represent. You need like a philosophy's degree just to know. Hey, there is no point in it. I don't understand it personally. I don't think I ever will. If I do one day become what I hate, then well, I would still plan to do this on the side. My master plan, if it does go that route, which is very, very unlikely, but if it does, let's say if it does, if I somehow begin to make and sell this absurd after art, what I'll do is I'll make, I'll begin to make very slowly, or maybe just in like a big shot, just a very realistic painting, or something like this, I don't know. Um, but something, you know, probably much better than what this is gonna turn out as. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna say some like rich uh, targeting stuff about that painting. And then people are gonna think, oh, oh my goodness, this is a masterpiece, but it's, it's good art, it's what it is. So my master plan is to somehow loop around the art culture into thinking good art is actually good art and bad art is bad. But now it's good art, bad art, and bad art is good art. So that's pretty stupid. That means all the people who have to have so much dedication, years in fact, of training. Um, I, I'm not really talking about this. I mean like um, very detailed, <coughs> almost hyper-realistic acrylic paintings. Um, pale in comparison to the prices of these, like, let's say like Jack and Pollock. This man basically just puts polka dots on a canvas and just calls it a day. I, it, it's not comparable, a bunch to two. It, one is a kindergartner can draw, and the other is years and years of experience. It, it's disheartening. It really is. Because I, I don't take an art class. Ever taken an art class? Some people are very surprised by that. You don't really have to take an art class, but those who do go to art school waste their money on the university fees. Because let's face it, another scam college, or, or universities is the biggest scam, because they're not the same. Uh, college is just a much smaller affair. Community college is, to be fair, it's depending on what you're doing is the way to go. Uh, I'm going to a trade school for welding. That's my plan in life. This is just a hobby. My plan is to do welding work. Um, I haven't really figured out what type of welding, but I plan to stay in the city. And the costs of attending, it, it is not much, not much at all. Compared to universities where my other option was chemical engineering. I feel really wanted me to do it, but you know, it's way, way too expensive and I, I'm not gonna waste my money doing that. I'm not. It, it's for what I think it is just a waste of your money and time just to get a city certification of what you could get. You could learn the same amount of, I'm like I saw for sure Texas A&M's course for chemical engineering. And it was like, I think three, four years, maybe two years and that's stretching it to actually get into a science course. It, come on now, they, it's appalling to be honest. Like all these people have to suffer this awful, awful schooling system. But thankfully people are coming around to the fact that it is in fact a scam and not something you should pour your money into. So that's a good sign. Maybe more people will go into training, uh, trading, or the, the trades, like welding. Because something like that will, to an extent, always be in demand. As unfortunately, it is very rare to come across someone who knows how to weld. Um, I'm going to still be talking, but 
I'll be going to get different paints. Okay, I'm not going to get any paint paints, I'm just going to get purple. Yeah, so, welding is very interesting. I'm in my practicum course in high school, which is the third class and final class. If you don't know what practicum means, it's fine. It's, it's the final the final uh, year of it. It's a dual block class, which means uh, every day that how my school works, you take eight classes um, and it's split into fours uh, for each day, respectfully. It may seem a lot, but it's fine. And my welding course is how it used to be, was uh, two classes for a advanced and practicum class. Last year when I was in advanced, um, we were in that class three hours, which like an hour and a half was the normal time. So, yeah, let's do this. So it was back to back for three hours, which is fun. It's, it's entertaining and you don't have to waste your time suiting up again and then going into um, a different, uh, uh, the other option would be, is what I was going to but you know, last trial was either, you know, back to back three hours or du block. Du block is one each day, which means you're going to waste your time uh, having to dress up, dress down, because if you don't know, you have to wear special equipment to weld, you know, to not burn yourself. And so we have to dress down from our normal clothes and then dress up in our welding attire, our PPE, our, uh, our protective preparation equipment. Oh no, personal protective equipment, my bad. Um, so we had to get that on along with some other stuff. So we'll waste about like 10, 15 minutes um, compared to what was going to be, or what was just um, like 10, like five minutes of like dress up, dress down. But, you know, because I say that because next year is supposed to be that um, each day type scenario. And it's not going to, I don't think it's going to be the best thing, but our teacher really wants it. So, because he thinks it's good to have welding each day to learn. I get where it's coming from, but we weren't learning to finally retain our knowledge for those days um, that we do do that, even if it is every other day. Because we do retain our knowledge from that. We don't just forget it all. So. But he's pretty much certain that it is going to be coming uh, next year. So that sucks. That's fine. Not that big of a deal. I don't really care about just waiting anymore. Yeah. What are we doing on time? Huh? Doing pretty good on time. 43 minutes, mm -hmm. a few seconds. I didn't really see the seconds. Uh, it could be like 51 for all I know.
Come on. There you go. Okay. This is the last of the planets. Then we'll do the background. Um, I'll show you the strap I was going to use if this all stuck too much. And I am almost certain that it will. Because I don't think it's going to stick in particular areas. Okay. Let's get to it. Uh -oh. uh, that is not good. Very bad. Very, very, very bad. Very hard to get over. Why did that happen? I just is. Huh? 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 Just because I put my finger on it. Just, just. It's always this paint that gives me trouble. Always normal blue and navy blue. 
Very bad. Give me trouble. I'm going to not have trouble in hand. I have a bad feeling about how this is going to turn out. And I have a bad feeling about this, it is very well justified, unfortunately. I just had it on the edges. Could have been a good idea to have it on the side, but uh, that's not the best thing. But, um, can't have too many of those, so mistake on my part. Also, not going to add a white overcoat on them. Expecting that too smooth, it worries me. Okay, yeah, this is what I was expecting. Yeah, just I mean, this I could just chalk that up to just too much white, but the cutting device I used also was not the best at all in any sense of the word. I'm getting a new one which I am praying it works, but I, I really don't know. There's no way for me to know. I thought the one I was gonna, uh, that I did use was going to work. But I don't know. But surprisingly, the black isn't coming off. That's the only instance that the black came off. Now, I am beyond astonished right now, because I was really expecting, okay, here, here we go, this is what I was expecting, and it didn't even come off a lot, it was not that bad, 
Yeah, this was uh, what I was talking about. I was gonna take this and spray over like that. But yeah, it turned out much better than I thought. Um, not the best because some bits um, could be a bit brighter, I guess. A bit too much dark here. But yeah, I didn't even really try that much because I didn't think it was gonna work. But it, it turned out pretty well. Uh, I'm gonna add, uh, should I add some comments? Uh, I'm gonna add some comments. There's those comments. Let me get um, the light blue and do some more over here. There we go, some pretty faint ones. I'm gonna do some more heavy ones over here. There we go. Actually, because of that, I'm gonna add purple ones up top. There you go. We're shooting stars. It's the comets. And uh, I'm gonna wipe it off. There you go. It dripped somehow. I don't know how, but it did. But I'm just gonna keep it there. Not that bad. Is it missing up top? I'm gonna add to it some sail blue and I'm praying it actually works. So I'm not using a lot of it. There we go. Alright. There is the align planet. Not the best, not the worst. It's fine. So I had a few uh, swatter fly away.
lift my stuff over. Basically, all my serving is over here. It's not a bit of a mess. Okay, this. improve on this, which is good. I don't know what's wrong with this. It means I know how to change it. Somehow, even though I have used this on all my paintings, I've not used a lot of it per run, I still have what well, feels about half of this still. the worst one so far uh, from what I use with the new paint but it's fine okay. send it down and you just increase this up for later okay, okay. on to the, um, <coughs> the outro thank you all so much for watching uh, bearing with me through all of this I didn't have to wait as long as I thought which is good um again thank you all so much for watching uh, i hope you enjoy have enjoyed the product and the process as much as i have um i hope let me just stand up real quick i hope you have had a great day and i hope you continue to have a great day or night doesn't really matter and until next time see you then